Gunsmoke. Brought to you by L and M Filters. This is it. L and M is best. Stands out from all the rest. Around Dodge City and in the territory on West, there's just one way to handle the killers and the spoilers, and that's with a U.S. Marshal and the smell of gun smoke. Gunsmoke, starring William Conrad, the transcribed story of the violence that moved west with young America, and the story of a man who moved with it. I'm that man, Matt Dillon, United States Marshal, the first man they look for and the last they want to meet. It's a chancy job, and it makes a man watchful, and a little lonely. Just awful, Mr. Dillon. Now we need rain, Chester. <clears throat> you know what I'd do if I was running Dodge? Now what? I'd get me a big bunch of them flat rocks, and I'd lay them all the way up and down Front Street. That'd take care of this dust. And I'd also take care of the first rider that came along. Well, something ought to be done. Hey, look. There's a the stage. Let's wait and see who gets off it, can we? Are you expecting somebody? No, sir. I'm just curious. You know how it is. Well, I know how it is with you. You know, you ought to get yourself a job as a railroad agent or something like that. Oh, I'd like that. Fine. Hey, look. There's that little whiskey drummer back again. Oh, I wonder if he's got any more of them little samples. Is he the only passenger? Nope. Another fella. Hey, he's a mighty serious-looking man, too. Kindly handles himself like a gunfighter or something, don't he? Chester. What? That's Troy Carver. Who's he? Oh, he's an old friend of mine from Arizona. Come on. Is he a gunfighter, Mr. Dillon? Yeah, one of the best, too. Looks like he's headed for the Dodge house. Well, we'll catch him. He's a big fella, ain't he? Yeah. He's sure going to be surprised to see me. Oh, watch him jump now. Hey, Carver, hold it. He, he's got his gun on, Mr. Dillon. He's going to shoot. Stay back, Chester. Keep coming, mister. I'm watching your hands. Troy, it's Matt Dillon. Matt Dillon? Put that gun away, you crazy fool. Matt. Well, Matt, how are you? Oh, good, good, Troy. Well, what happened there? Did you recognize me? Yeah, sure, sure, of course I did. Why, you were ready to shoot, Troy. No, no, I was joking, Matt. Oh, you were? Sure, of course I was. Besides, you come on me awful sudden, yelling like that. Yeah, I guess I did. Well, what are you doing at Dodge, Troy? What are you doing here? Oh, I work here. I'm a marshal. A marshal? Uh-huh. Is that a fact? Oh, oh uh, come here, Chester. I want you to meet Troy Carver. It's Chester Prosper, Troy. Well, I'm pleased to meet you. Any friend of Matt's, Chester? My gracious, you sure do move fast, Mr. Carver. I thought you was going to shoot. <laughs> Guess you didn't recognize him. Huh? Oh, I was just playing. I've known Matt Dillon off and on for 20 years. Yeah, it's so, but it's been a long time since we last saw each other. No gallus, wasn't it? Yeah, that was back in the days when I was still trying to make an honest living. Uh, but you haven't told me what you're doing here, Troy. Looking for a fella. Oh? Uh-huh. You ever know Lee Poland? Lee Poland? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, a long time ago. Well, the laws finally got him cold. He'll hang for murder when I catch him. When you catch him? I'm a deputy sheriff, Matt. Tucson. What? <laughs> we got word Lee Poland was going to set up and dodge, so I come after him. Well, you must have beat him here. I haven't seen him. I got plenty of time. Besides, it'll give me a chance to do a little gambling. Ah. Where are you going to stay? 
The driver told me there's a hotel down the street here. Well, well, sure, right there. Where? With the Dodge house, right there. Oh, sure. <laughs> um, uh, uh, Troy. Yeah? When Poland does show up, uh, I'll help you take him, huh? What'd you say that for? Well, well, no reason, except that Poland's mighty fast with a gun. I ain't exactly a beginner, Matt. Well, I, I didn't mean that, Troy. Well, why should anybody take a chance with a man like Lee Poland? If we both go up against him, he'll probably give up without a fight. You talk like you think I'm afraid of him. Well, no, of course I don't. I'll handle him. It's my job, and you stay out of it. Right. Uh, sure, Troy. Just as good as I ever was, Matt. Uh, well, sure, sure. Yeah. Don't you go getting any ideas. You're going to find me that room now. Mr. Dillon? Yeah, Chester. I swear I don't understand him. I mean, he about shoots you. Then he gets mad at you for wanting to help him. And then it will... I just do not understand him. Neither do I, Chester. Was he always like that? No, he wasn't. Well, what is it? I don't know for sure. But I better find out. This is it, L and M filters. It stands out from all the rest. Miracle tip, much more flavor. L and M's got everything. It's the best. L and M is best. Stands out from all the rest. L and M's got everything. 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 Best flavor. L and M stands out for flavor. The miracle tip draws easy. Let you enjoy all the taste. Best filter? L&M stands out for effective filtration. No filter compares with L&M's pure white miracle tip for quality or effectiveness. Best tobaccos? Highest quality tobaccos. Low nicotine tobaccos. L&M tobaccos. Light and mild. Every way, L&M is best. Stands out from all the rest. How easy they draw. How mild they are. L&M is sweeping the country. It's America's best filter tip cigarette. the truth. <laughs> well, is there something wrong? Uh, I guess I'm tired tonight, man. Well, why don't you go home? No, what I'm tired of is heat and dust and Texas cowboys. Oh, that's right. I forgot about that big herd that came in yesterday. Well, there wasn't a man with it that could ever have known a mother. <laughs> they all acted like they'd been raised in caves. You know something? Huh? You need a few weeks in St. Louis, Kitty. Uh, I'm going next month. No? Yep. They already bought me a ticket on the Santa Fe. Well, good, good. <laughs> How long are you going to stay? As long as my money holds out, which means a couple of days, I suppose. <laughs> you come to see me, or are you looking for Troy? And I see he's still here. Oh, he hasn't left that poker table for three hours. Yeah, it's probably the first gambling he's done since he left Arizona. He seems like a good head, man. Yeah. Yeah, he's the best. Oh, there's one thing about him, though. Oh, what's that? Well, he's awful hair-triggered. He almost had a fight with a barkeep a while ago. Oh? Over nothing at all. He's got something on his mind, Matt. Something's bothering him. Yeah, I know. What is it? 
I'm not sure, Kitty. Get out. Matt, he's starting a fight with the dealer. Yeah. Talk, mister. Well, you're wearing a gun. I ain't going to use it. Now use it. No. Troy. Keep out of this, Matt. I never saw you try to force a man to draw before, Troy. That's what he's trying to do, Marshal. No, I'm not. What would you call it, then? I... I said for you to keep out of this, Matt. Dodge is my town, Troy. I stop trouble here no matter who starts it. Now, what's this about? I'll tell you, Marshal. He made me out like I was cheating, that's what. I had my cards laying face up right in front of me, and he told me to shove them over in front of him, and I wouldn't do it. They were showing plain enough right where they were. I don't deal crooked, you know that. I didn't say you was dealing crooked. It sounded like it to me. What do you want, Troy? It ain't no business of yours, Matt. I'm out of this game. I'm leaving. I don't know what's the matter with him, Marshal. He was getting on fine, then all of a sudden he blows up. Yeah, go back to your game. He'll, he'll get over it. He'd right. better. That fool coming in, breaking up the game like that, telling me what I can do with my partner. What's that all about, man? I'll tell you later, Kitty. i got to leave now. Huh? I want to find Troy as soon as he cools off a little. It looked like you and him were having an argument. Yeah, we were. But I know what's wrong with him now. And it isn't good, Kitty. It isn't good at all. Matt Dillon, Troy. Well, what are you doing here? I, uh, I want to talk to you. Morning. Well, doesn't the Dodge House supply lamps anymore? There's one on the bureau there. Light it if you want. Okay, I think it will. I like sitting in the dark. Nothing wrong with that, is there? And I didn't say there was, Troy. Okay. Well, is it uh, all right if I sit down? Help yourself. Ah, thank you. What's on your mind, Matt? Don't you know, Troy? Wouldn't be asking if I did. Look, uh, Troy, uh, we've been pretty good friends in the past. Uh, <laughs> I wouldn't be here otherwise. What are you talking about? Well, uh, being good friends, I figure, kind of gives me the privilege of interfering. Interfering with what? With you. How? With me. Troy, you know what I'm talking about. You... You gotta quit, Troy. You gotta get out of this business while you're still alive. I don't know what you're saying. All right, all right, I'll spell it out for you. I wasn't 30 feet from you on the street today, and you couldn't even recognize me. I, I should have known then. I was joking you. I told you that. Well, what about the sign on the Dodge House? That's a pretty big sign, you know. I hadn't even looked at it. All right, what about tonight? That dealer's cards weren't more than three feet away, and you couldn't read them. I got a right to check a man's cards if I want. You just won't admit it, will you? You're making things up. You get a crazy idea, and you run away with it. How are you going to recognize Lee Poland when he hits town, Troy? Smell him out? I told you... I don't know what you're saying. Don't you? All right, then I'm going to say it real clear. Who ever heard of a half-blind gunfighter? Who ever heard of a man that can't see going up against somebody like Lee Poland? That ain't true. It's true, all right. Troy, you shouldn't even be wearing a gun. The only reason you haven't been killed already is because... This can't have been going on for very long. Matt, there's nothing... No, 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 you listen to me. Now, pride is a good thing, Troy, but 
It's not worth dying for. Not this way. And besides, there's nothing shameful about a man's eyes going bad. What, do you, you think people are going to call you a coward for that? Well, do you? I come here to take Lee Poland, and I'm going to do it. All right, all right, all right. You can arrest him, you can take him back to Arizona, but let me face him with you. No. He'll kill you, Troy, he'll kill you easy. You stay out of it, man. Look, Troy, I'm trying to help you. I don't gonna... need help. No man's going to do my work for me. You won't say it yourself, will you? You won't even listen to my saying. Now, you're talking crazy. That's all you got to say, huh? That, and you keep out of this. I mean it, Matt. Now, you ain't leaving here till you promise. Go on, say it. You're a fool, Troy. There ain't another man in the world could call me that. All right. Now keep out of it. Good night, Troy. Good night. Chester. Yes, sir. Uh, take a look at this, huh? What is it, Mr. Dillon? I'll read it. All right, all right. <clears throat> Lee Poland, age 36, black hair, gray eyes, scar on the right cheek, walks with slight limp left leg. What's this for, Mr. Young? Well, I put down everything I can remember about Poland. I, I want you to take it to the stage office and into the stable and let Moss Grimmick read it. And tell him if Poland shows up, I want to know about it. And I want to know about it fast. But you said you promised Troy you'd stay out of this. Get going, Chester. Yes, sir. Oh, uh, and you might walk around and keep your eyes open, too, huh? I'll stay here so as everybody will know where to find me. Yes, sir. Well, hello, Doc. Yeah, Matt here. Oh, there he is. You can go in, Doc. I'm just leaving. Oh, oh well, I'm sorry to hear that, Matt. Yeah. 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 How are you, Matt? Oh, fine, Doc. Fine. Sit down. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> well, I saw him. Oh, what happened? I went to his room, like you said, and I told him what I'd come for. Mm-hmm. How'd he take it? Well, at first I thought he was going to break my neck, but somehow I managed to talk him out of that, and I kept on talking, and finally he let me examine him. The only reason he did, he said, was to prove to you that there's nothing wrong with him. So? It's hard to say for sure, Matt, but my guess is his eyes won't get any worse. They're as bad now as they're going to be. Well, that's something. But they're not going to get any better. There isn't a thing I can do for him. Oh, I just don't have the knowledge, Matt. Well, uh, did you tell him what you told me? Uh, I started to. Oh, what do you mean? Well, when I finished the examination, I started to tell him what I thought. But he wouldn't let me. He told me to come back here and tell you there's nothing wrong with him. And the way he said it, he meant it. I didn't argue with him. And I don't want him. I won't say anything. Good, good. Because Troy is the kind of a man who... Mr. Dillon? He... Now, what are you doing back, Chester? I seen him. I was at the stage office, and I hadn't even gone in yet, and I seen him come riding up the street. <laughs> Lee Fuller? Yes, sir, it was him, all right. Where'd he go? He was headed straight for the stable. But there's something else, Mr. Dillon. What? Troy Carver was there on the street, and Poland yelled hello to him. Said he'd be back when he put his horse up. <laughs> The 
millions who smoke L&M to the millions more who should try L&M. Here is your assurance. L&M gives superior filtration because of its superior filter. Superior taste because of L&M's superior tobaccos. Yes, L&M tobaccos are tasty, full of flavor, yet light and mild. So buy a pack of L&M's and take a good close look at L&M's superior filter. The purest tip that ever touched your lips. It's white. All white. Truly the miracle tip. Because when it's added to L&M's superior tobacco, it actually tones up the taste. Actually improves your enjoyment of this great cigarette. L&M's got everything. Superior taste, superior tobacco, superior filter. That's why it's America's best filter tip cigarette. Try L&M today. There's Troy Carver. Just cross his feet there. He ain't moved at all. Yeah, he's waiting for Poland to come back. He knows it's the easiest way you can find him. It's kindly awful, ain't it? Yeah. Wait a minute, Chester. What? There's Poland. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I see him. Uh, one minute earlier, I might have stopped this. Well, I heard as fast as I could. Oh, it's not your fault, Chester. Uh, you stay back and out of the way now, huh? Yes, sir. Poland, hold it. Hold it right there. Man, what are you doing here? Well, if it ain't Matt Dillon. Don't you pay him no mind, Poland. Look at me. What's going on here? What do you want, Dillon? I'm the marshal in this town, Poland. He's got nothing to do with this. I'm arresting you, Poland. I'm arresting you for murder. Now, wait a minute. I ain't facing the two of you. It's me you're facing. Me, not him. That's enough, Troy. Don't come no closer. I want your gun. Now unbuckle your belt and drop it right there. No. Do it, Poland. You heard him. Shut up, Matt. You keep out of this. You can't face both of us, Poland. You said so yourself. Get out of here, Matt. I'm not moving, Troy. I don't understand this. But I sure don't like it. You haven't got a chance, Poland. I always got it. <laughs> what? What? Troy didn't even shoot, Mr. Dillon. No, but he got hit. Let's get him up to docks. He's still alive. Lee Poland sure ain't. You hit him both times. Here, give me a hand with Troy. He's bleeding bad. Sleep, huh? Yes, I see. Yeah, it's almost morning. Oh, is it? Oh. How's Troy? Yeah, he's over the worst of it. He'll live. Oh, good, good, Doc. Is he conscious? Yes, he's conscious. Uh, uh, can I see him? For a minute or two. Then I want him to go to sleep. Oh, I won't take long, Doc. When you're through, we'll have some coffee. I'll grind up some fresh. No, good, Doc. Hello, Troy. Matt. 
Yeah, Doc says you're going to be all right. You shot me, Matt. Yeah. You broke your word. You promised to stay out of it. I, I know, Troy. Man ought to keep his word. Uh, yeah. I shouldn't have believed you in the first place. No, I, I guess you shouldn't. And and I wouldn't have either if I'd been thinking straight. I wasn't thinking straight about something else, too. No, is that so? You want to know what it was? Oh, sure. I... I don't see very good no more. A gunfighter, he, he's got to be able to see better than I do. All right. I'm going to quit. Now you're satisfied? Yeah. Yeah, I'm satisfied, Troy. <laughs> And now our star, William Conrad. Thank you, George. You know what I like about L&M's is they're mild and mighty easy on the draw. When you get right down to it, no filter stacks up with L&M's pure white miracle tip for quality or effectiveness. Darn good smoke. See for yourself. L&M stands out from all the rest. Gunsmoke, produced and directed by Norman MacDonald, stars William Conrad as Matt Dillon, U.S. Marshal. Our story was specially written for Gunsmoke by John Meston, with music composed and conducted by Rex Corey. Sound patterns by Tom Hanley and Bill James. Featured in the cast were Vic Perrin, Joseph Cranston, and James Nusser. Harley Bear is Chester, Howard McNear is Doc, and Georgia Ellis is Kitty. Put a smile in your smoking. Next time you buy cigarettes, stop. Remember, only Chesterfield is made the modern way with Accuray. This amazing quality detective electronically checks and controls the making of your Chesterfield, giving a uniformity and smoking quality never possible before. For the first time, you get a perfect smoke column from end to end. From the first puff, to the last puff, Chesterfield smokes smoother. Chesterfield smokes cooler. Chesterfield is best for you. Next time you buy cigarettes, stop. Remember, Chesterfield is made the modern way with Accuray. Put a smile in your smoking, just give them a try. Light up a Chesterfield, they satisfy. Remember, listen again next week for another transcribed story of the Western Frontier when Matt Dillon, Chester Proudfoot, Doc, and Kitty, together with all the other hard-living citizens of Dodge, will be with you once more. It's America growing west in the 1870s. It's Gunsmoke, brought to you by L&M Filters. <laughs>